Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for yet another plan with me in my beloved happy planner. It's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the planning diva. And I actually just returned from a week in Chicago, Illinois. So I was visiting Chicago for the first time ever in my life. I had never been there before. I was there visiting my sister, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law's family, and my good friend in Chicago. And I had a great time. It is such a beautiful city and I am so so excited to come back and visit her again. She was beautiful. I got a bunch of postcards. I got some cardstock stickers at Joann's, which I'm amazed that they have Chicago stickers there. I took a bunch of photos and I printed them out in mini prints, so I have those. I have some scrapbook paper and of course I have my happy planner. So today we're just going to be memory keeping, scrapbooking um, about my Chicago experience and so if you're excited for that and want to see what I get into, just keep on watching. All right, so today we're going to be working in my mega happy planner, Miss Cassiopeia. That's what I call her. Uh, I'm super extra, she's super extra, and so she gets her own name. But uh, this is my one of my mega happy planners. I have six happy planners um, combined into this one happy planner to make my mega happy planner, my Franken planner, call it what you will. But um, this is more of my fun uh, happy planner. I use it more for like uh, non-traditional uses like journals, workbooks, uh, that kind of thing as opposed to like actual planners. But one of the sections here in this mega happy planner is my memory section or my scrapbook. I have a happy planner which I dedicate to um, memory keeping, scrapbooking, uh, remembering all the fun things that happened in my life with family and friends. I also tend to use this section as a planner. Like if things are coming up in my life, I will like plan in this. Um, I'll put, I'll, I'll use sticky notes though. I usually don't actually write in this permanently until the event has passed because you know, life happens, uh, plans change, things come up, people reschedule. So I tend not to like write anything, like have anything set in stone until it's happened. So because it's Franken planned, I have a scrapbook paper kind of separating each section from each other. So this scrapbook paper right here separates um, the rest of the planner, mega planner from my, this is the last section in this particular mega happy planner. Um, and so I just have the scrapbook paper. I have some stickers just on the back here. I like carrying like a bunch of stickers around with me so that way I don't have to carry, you know, sticker books. And I like to have a different selection of stickers. And so I just have scrapbook paper with, um, I tape like a uh, empty sheet of sticker paper to the back of it and then put stickers on it. I have these scattered throughout my planners. So I have just various stickers of all types of styles there. So that's what this is here. And then I have uh, the July divider, which says collect beautiful moments. And although it is September, I like keeping this divider in here because it's saying is just so perfect for this section, which is my scrapbook. I have a little paper clip clipping that page with the next page together so that way I don't have to have a random like calendar and random week spread there in the middle because I also wanted to keep this page here which is my July overview. I tend to use the overviews in this planner as just um, repositories for photos, photo collages. I print out my favorite photos in larger sizes and then um, just put them here on this overview page. So that's what's going on here. And then this is the last week in, in July. Yeah, this is the last week in July here. 
because I have the August overview in here and although it is September I tend to keep the one month uh, like the previous month in my scrapbook at all times because I love this section so much that I just like to flip through it at times and I just like having just more than one month more than the current month with me at all times so that I just have those memories with me so this is the August overview and again I just have a couple of my favorite photos um, here I have two pictures that I printed out I have two photos I printed out from my trip to Mexico and then I also have my boyfriend's passport photo which he gave me randomly I thought it was funny so I just put that in here just decorated it a little bit with Mickey stickers and then this is the August divider this is the August monthly which I struggle with decorating like I do decorate it um, I do try to use it but I'm still figuring out exactly how I want to use the monthly overview so that is that then we have the first week in August I had a vacation in Mexico for a little over a week so I have a lot of uh, things going on here uh, so this was uh, the second week in August I came back to the States on Thursday I went hiking with my boyfriend on the weekend so that's what happened there and then this is the third week in August I just hung out with friends um, had a good time there and then the fourth week in August I actually went backpacking in the Eastern Sierras with my boyfriend and a friend and so all of these stickers and photos are from that backpacking trip which was a lot of fun I'm so excited it was such an exciting trip so relaxing much needed and so I have postcards and I took so many photos on this trip and I had so many stickers I wanted to use and scrapbook paper that I ended up having these extra pages here just um, in the middle and then we have the last page here with the spread um, I used a lot of camping stickers and lake stickers because we were around a lot of lakes so that was a lot of fun and then finally we're in September here so September overview then we have the September monthly which I still need to get around to decorating and then this is where we currently are so I haven't um, decorated this at all except I put the sticker here um, it's currently the 12th Sunday and I got back to San Diego from Chicago on the 9th Thursday so I was in Chicago from the 2nd through the 8th so these two pages are going to be uh, my Chicago my Chicago pages I already have a couple things kind of like uh, placed I did get a letter in the mail from my sister or pen pals so I like to have a stamp here I like to place a stamp whenever I get mail from her. I just have a sticky note making a note that I took bugs to the dog park and I spent the night with my boyfriend here on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we went to the Shed Aquarium in Chicago and I got this wonderful sticker here. They had a great beluga whale exhibit. So that's why I have this guy here and I just placed that there already. So we're gonna get into it as i said i have a bunch of photos from the trip i have cardstock stickers uh like chicago cardstock stickers and i have a bunch of postcards so we're just going to um decorate these the spread and i'm definitely going to be spilling out into the monthly calendar view as well as the september overview so let's see how this goes. I also have some cardstock paper, which I'll probably pull for um, in case I want to insert like another page in here um, so that I can, you know, paste more photos in there. I'll probably reach for that. I'm going to grab this building, um, put this in the sidebar here. You know what, I'm gonna pull these pages out real quick. I 
have to grab this Chicago the Windy City sticker. So maybe I'll put this here. Established 1837. And actually, I took a boat ride on the Chicago River and out into Lake Michigan while I was there, thanks to my sister who treated us to this awesome boat ride. And they actually explained to us that Chicago is called the Windy City, not because it's particularly windy, it's actually only the 16th windiest city in the United States, but because of some um, drama back in the day, back in the, I don't know, 1940s, 1950s, I forget when exactly it happened, but um, some people were complaining about the people of Chicago, the politicians of Chicago, that they were, they were kind of um, egotistical, dramatic. Uh, I forget who exactly said it or why they said it, but they were just complaining about the people of Chicago and that they were just full of hot air. So that's why it's called the Windy City. So I tend to try to keep the photos as close to the day that the event happened as possible. Um, hopefully, ideally, I you know, put them on the day that it happened, but that's not always possible just because you know, of the limited space and um, the fact that sometimes you know, I have tons of photos for two days and then nothing for the previous five days. But um, this is kind of loosely uh, structured and organized chronologically. So I did get to Chicago early Thursday morning, very, very early actually. My flight arrived around 1.30 a.m. I did take a red eye out of San Diego. My friend Ethan, who lives in Chicago, was so kind to pick me up so early in the morning. But uh, yeah, so all these pictures came after Thursday, but of course I'm not gonna you know, shove all of my photos onto this side of the page, so I spread them out. So Thursday, hung out with Ethan, and both of us are still working uh, remotely, and so we ended up going to a coffee shop to get some coffee and do some work at the coffee shop, so that was this photo. And then for dinner that night, we hung out with another friend, Tim, and, uh, <clears throat> another of Ethan's friends and we went to go get Indian fusion food and so this is just a picture of me and Tim and then on Saturday we went to go get deep dish pizza and we went on a boat ride ar an architectural boat ride tour on the Chicago River so that is me Ethan and my sister-in-law's father on the boat ride and then this is just a photo I took of the skyline on the boat ride, which was so fantastic. Highly recommend that. Um, it was so cool to experience. And lastly, on Sunday, we had the birthday dinner for my sister-in-law who was turning 30. So I just have this picture of her here. I have a bunch of other um, like cool buildings that I took pictures of on the boat tour, but I'm gonna have to save these for um, the, the cardstock, or I mean the scrapbook paper insert because I just already have a lot going on here. So I'm gonna tape these photos down. I'm gonna use washi tape and this sticker right here to kind of, um, to kind of anchor the photos down a little bit better and then we'll, we'll move on from there. So now I'm just gonna add a couple of stickers from these cardstock stickers, which are amazing. I'm so happy that they had Chicago stickers at Joann's. I just added this little um, 
uh, train. I don't know if I, I, I want to call it a subway, but I don't know if it goes underground. I saw these running around the city all the time, super noisy, um, but I added that there. I'm going to add this Navy Pier sticker over here. We went around the Navy Pier when we were on the boat ride, so I'm going to add that there. I'm going to grab this Chicago style pizza and put it here on uh, and put it here near the deep dish uh, that we got. I'm going to grab this Magnificent Mile sticker and also put that down. We did walk on Magnificent Mile on our way to the boat ride, so I'm going to put that here. And I think that's all I want to do with this spread. I do want to leave myself room to write, so I'll go ahead and um, just write out what happened. Okay, so I think that's it I'm gonna do for this spread here. I still have tons of photos and I gotta do the next week's spread as well, but this video is already super long, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll probably finish the rest of this spread on camera with the inserts and next week. But I hope you enjoyed watching this plan with me. I really like how the spread came out. It was such a fun vacation and I'm so, so grateful that it was possible. So yeah, thanks again for checking out this plan with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!